your understanding about journalism is, you know, you know, you're not going to make a lot of money. You really are not, but at least everyone hates you, which is, <laughs> which is sort of true, sort of true. It's much worse now than it was back then. Although when I worked for CBS in Texas, you know, we'd come up and people would say, oh, the communist broadcasting system is here. What? You know, yes, here we are. Um, and people would uh, nag at us about the way we, we covered issues of race or um, politics. Men, when I came up and came to CBS, it was a total men's club. It was Don Hewitt at 60 Minutes. Um, Les Moonves was the president of CBS and he was uh, quite odiously, you know, exited the building after being revealed to be a grotesque old creep. Um, Don Hewitt, uh, CBS paid a number of harassment payouts during his tenure. And that was just how this was handled. You just didn't talk about it. Um, and women talked about it. And we learned all kinds of ways for avoiding it um, and all kinds of ways not to be available to be um, intimidated or taken advantage of or any of that stuff. So it all those years in producing actually are a wonderful help when it comes to parental dilemmas. Um, motherhood, how to grill your child about everything. And I think it gives you the ability to think fast on your feet. And when time is short, you know how to, um, you know how to pull out all the stops and get done what you needed to get done. Um, Abu Ghraib was a biggie, a big, big for me. That was in 2004. Um, and we had worked on that for probably three months the story had been delayed for a couple of weeks because CBS was afraid to go forward because they were afraid of being criticized by pointing out that our taxpayer money was being used to fund US soldiers, you know, programs on how to torture other citizens of other countries. Um, a lot of people that I talked to within the, certainly um, veterans of Vietnam and Korea even talked about war crimes. And when war crimes are committed um, by a force from outside, the people who really pay are the soldiers from that country who are there because the next time they get caught some, from somebody, that person's, they're going to be really, you know, injured and tortured and turnabouts fair play and all that stuff. So Joseph that McCarthy in the 1950s, uh, Nixon, they didn't like reporters because we had an annoying habit of telling things. We'd learn something and we're like, guess what I learned? Um, you just can't wait to tell it, write it, do it. So they hated us for that because we were pesky and we would ask the questions that you did, they didn't want brought up. Um, and that made them hate us. And what they did was launch a campaign to sort of um, demolish our reputations or to talk about, um, you, you come with such a bias that anything you say is just not believable. 